Hello class and welcome to today's lesson on 10-2. Uh, today we're going to talk about area of trapezoids and rhombuses and kites. So for today, our goal, our goal is to be able to find the area of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. Uh, central question is what are the formulas to then find those areas? So looking here first, it says what is the formula for area of a trapezoid? Right, so to find area of a trapezoid, we follow this formula. Area is equal to one half base one plus base two. So right, there's two bases when we deal with the trapezoid, and so we add them together. Notice it's in parentheses because we just want one number. We want the sum of the bases. So it's one half sum of the bases times the height. And so right, if we look at this trapezoid down here, making sure we understand, for your bases, truly it doesn't matter. I often do base one as the smaller one on top, base two as the larger one on the bottom. So those are our bases, and then right, the height would be this distance right here. That's the distance right here. So now what we're going to do is move this forward and find area of some trapezoids. So to start, first one on the right there, right, notice it says find the area of the trapezoid. First one's pretty straightforward, right? Area equals one half, it's gonna be the sum of our bases, right? If we look here, our bases are right here, five and eight. So we take five plus eight, and now we're gonna multiply this all by the height. Multiply that all by the height. So if we take this, we now have one half, 13 times 3. Well, if we take 13 times 3, we have one half of 39, which would give us a final answer of 19.5. Right, what we're going to do, if you have actual units, right, you're going to write it correctly. But if you don't, you can just write units squared. So 19.5 units squared. So now looking at this next one. Right, that was pretty straightforward, the first one there. But now this next one, we aren't given um, the base. Right? We aren't given the exact base there. We have to try to find it. Right? So we think of our formula, right? area equals one half, sum of the bases times the height. Right? The height we're given as five. One of the bases we know is four, but we've got to find the other one. Gotta find our other one. Luckily for us, um, right, if we look here, we need to find this distance right here. Right, we need to find this is a different color so you can see. Right, we gotta find this distance first. We know that this one right here in green is four inches. Right, but if we can find this distance, then we can find our total base. So right, the way we do this, right, notice we have a right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we're going to take 5 squared plus B squared equals 7 squared. Right, we get 25 plus B squared equals 49. Do this, we get B squared is equal to 24, and then we take the square root of both sides, and we're going to find b to be roughly 4.9. Roughly 4.9. And so what we can do is, right in this area right here, that little blue part, that's going to be 4.9, as well as this little blue area, right? Notice these triangles are the same, right? That's 7, this would be 5. And so those distances are going to be the same. So now I want the total distance for what is this measurement going to be, right? 4.9 plus 4 plus 4.9 give me 13.8. So now that we find that, right, this is 13.8. Right now we take, okay, 4 times, or 4 plus 13.8, right, gives us 17.8. We now multiply that number by 5. We get exactly 89, and 
Now, if we take one half of 89, right, we're going to get 44.5. And in this problem, we can give our actual units, right, it's going to be inches squared. Inches squared. So, right, that's it for a trapezoid, right? So, we found trapezoid when we're given all the information right here. And then here, maybe we have to find some information to help us out, right? Sometimes you might have to find the height using this same idea. So now moving on to rhombuses and kites, right? We, we combine them because they both follow the same formula, right? The formula for area of a rhombus or a kite is one half diagonal one times diagonal two. Diagonal one times diagonal so, a couple things, right? With a um, with a kite here, right? We know from previous chapters that those are the same. I like to call this one diagonal one, and then this one diagonal two, right? There isn't any correlation on this green line, right? Our diagonal one, right? We know that these are equal to each other. Then we come to this rhombus here, right? We know this is congruent to this side. That segment's congruent to that segment, and specifically, um, right, we might call this diagonal one, this diagonal two, and right, in a rhombus, if this is four, well, that would be four. If this was five, well, then that would be five. So those are some answers. So now let's move forward. Let's use this information to help us find some answers here. So it says find the area of the kite. Find the area of the kite. So as we look at this one, diagonal one, diagonal two. Right, diagonal one, diagonal two. When we are setting this up, right, area is equal to one half, diagonal one times diagonal two. We are looking for the whole length of the di diagonal. So be careful. Do not just put in three or diagonal one, right? Diagonal one is actually a length of six, right? We add up that whole part. We do the same thing with diagonal two, right? Diagonal two is the sum of those two values, which would be seven. So if we take one half of six times seven, we get one half of 42, which would give us 21. And again, we don't have units, so we'll just type or write in units squared. So that is it for today's lesson on 10.2, right, talking about area of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites.